What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on the Medicine Creek roleplay, let's play, whatever you want to call this thing. And we have a big episode planned today. We are kicking off Spring Tillage. It is raining, but maybe we can, you know, fix that just a little bit. Just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. We're cheating just a tad. Nobody's got to know. Anyways. So, we are going to be kicking off Tillage, and I'm honestly probably just going to be in the 9RX all day, which I will be in the, of course, uh, the soybean field that's right behind the farm. It's, uh, I think it's actually withered, so, oh, I cannot drive. That's bad. But I think it's withered, so I need to actually, like, you know, give it some love. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. And yeah. So I've got the plow on today. I didn't bring the speed tiller because I frankly thought that maybe it needs to be plowed rather than speed tilled. Which I might I might reconsider halfway through this. I might be like, well, speed tiller might be a little bit quicker and easier to do. But yeah, we'll we'll just end up with the plow and if it works it works and if it doesn't it don't but yeah I'm expecting some kind of like oh wow the textures on this map are good it might just be the fact that this is a field that had a crop in it that never got harvested but yeah see like I was planning on starting this series like in the fall on this season on this map um like, I have a video right now where I was doing corn harvest, like everything. I had it all good and ready to go. But I kind of changed my mind last minute, and I was like, well, I don't really like this. Like, I didn't like the episode. I didn't like how it turned out because it was literally just me running around in a grain cart the whole time. Um, the video might come out in, like, 20 years or something. I don't know. But like I was recording the video and nothing was really turning out how I wanted it to so I just gave up <laughs> and I cleaned up the farm I got all the fields situated and I decided that I was going to just wait and we're going to make the series start in the spring so here we are now and I think this is going to be a really good series um I'm excited about it this is of course my first series back I, you know, took a little bit of a break, only about a year, um, but, I, I mean, you live, you learn, I'm back now, I had a bunch of stuff, like, come up, busy with everything possible, and, yeah, so, this video is just gonna be probably me tilling the field, and, yeah, so this is gonna take a hot minute, probably, but, honestly, Mike, this field looks rarely flat in the back or like straight in the back I might do a row or two and get a worker going on it and go start running the speed tiller on the field right beside me and we got a cotton field to work with oh boy but we actually I need to buy sprayers and stuff like that too uh oh I've, yeah that's what we're gonna do because I keep forgetting that there's so much equipment that I still have to buy i trying to figure out what thumbnail we would like today. I might do something like this. No. Also, I downloaded this mod about, like, with dust. And when I tell y'all, the dust can go crazy on this thing. I'm not even kidding. Like, this right here is nothing compared to what this dust can do. And I think right here is where I'm going to hire the worker. And we're going to go find the quad track and get on the speed tiller. Um, I honestly don't know how fast this thing can go. It's, you know, it says speed, whatever, but like, not sure. Uh, we have a wheat field too right across the road. We have, I think, a few wheat fields actually. I'm not sure how many. I think it's three, maybe more. I'll have to check and see. But yeah, um, this steering wheel also needs to be lowered. 
I'm not really sure how to do it though, so I really, you know, haven't worried about it, but yeah. So there's our farmer's market. <laughs> Just so happens to be in our field. Uh, we'll probably no-till that field. This field though, it was corn, so it's probably important for us to try some form of tillage in it. I know that was unrealistic. Um, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. There you go. Eleven miles an hour. Gonna be great. <laughs> if this thing was just a little bit bigger, it'd probably be the best like implement ever. But it's not so. You can't, you can't, like, you, you gotta pick your battles, I guess, is the way to put it. But, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I kind of want to talk about Farming Simulator 25. So, by the time y'all are seeing this video, uh, FarmCon has done happened and everything like that, which I'm recording this on June 30th, so FarmCon has not happened for me. I don't know none of the new features that were announced. All I know is what was in the blog post and that Zalonka, or however you say it, is the European map. Like, that's literally all I know. But, um, for Farming Simulator 25, first off, I'm really, really glad to see that it's coming out on November 12th this year instead of, like, November 20th or something later in, like, the month because... I don't know, it's just, it just feels better. November 5th would have been better because, like, almost every, like, a good chunk of America gets out of school on November, like, if you're in school, you get out on November 5th for, like, the elections and all that kind of stuff, and that would have been really cool, but, you know, I'll just have to pull an all-nighter and then, like, you know, regret it the day after but that's fine we'll we'll enjoy fs25 and there'll be videos being pumped out like nothing probably i'm hoping i can get back on some kind of schedule by the time that game comes out because it i mean i'm excited for it like i'm really ready to see what all it offers i'm ready to see how the game runs how the game looks on my computer because obviously my rtx 3070 ti and like my top of the line processor where the heck is this tractor you know what I, I'm not even surprised it's literally stuck in a tree thank you now was that that hard maybe this is the tractor I'd have to watch and not let go on anything and I can let the other one go Cause, oh boy that was I guess I'm gonna have to. I can let that go, but I can't let this one go because can't even go in a straight line. We got big problems out here, golly. I'm loving these textures though. I'm really hoping in FS25 we see more of like these textures because of course this is like, oh, there's rocks. I shouldn't have plowed. It probably needed plowing though. No. I need to buy those too. Here in a minute, we're just gonna like buy a handful of things, but we're just gonna ignore that. I bought a bunch of stuff because um, I might have to take out a little quote unquote easy development loan. Um, because I need to buy cotton pickers, I need to buy sprayers, I need to buy um, a bunch of stuff. So, we're probably actually going to go all the way across on this and buy them. So, back to FS25. Um, there's a lot of new features that I'm really excited about. I'm excited about the whole um, revamped engine with whatever whatever's going on right now. Like, by the talking of it, if it's really going to be like um, some kind of like dynamic weather dynamic ground all that kind of stuff then i'm really really excited so like and i think with the weather like there should be some kind of toggle like you can select if you think you could handle and like you would like the 
absolutely worst weather possible tear up your whole farm kind of weather or if you don't want that you could select yeah I don't want that I want something like easier and not so what's the word um I don't know how to put it but something that's not so devastating I guess is what I was trying to say because there's that's a part of agriculture like you have weather that you're not gonna like oh what I, I just pressed a button you're gonna have agriculture that you're not gonna like and or parts of agriculture that it's not easy like the weather's never easy for agriculture you literally fight a battle with mother nature all day every day one day it'll be perfect weather get out there plant some seed plant everything the next day it rains so much and it washes all your stuff away like that's just something that's with agriculture and you know many farmers have to deal with it and I think that's something that we can that we should like have an as an option in FS25 like yeah if you're on the game to play and enjoy it then don't cut it on just play the game like you play the game and enjoy the game but if you're like me or some other people and you want more of a realism aspect to it then I think you would love to have that dynamic weather that absolutely terrorizes you when it can now like I said it, it can kinda be a little you know sketchy for some people like if a tornado comes through and absolutely tears down and demolishes a barn I want to be able to rebuild it like you know get the materials work for the materials to go through the production chains all that kind of stuff and rebuild the barn I think that'd be really cool cuz I'm looking or I'm not looking right now but I was looking at some pictures of the uh, American map and there's a grain mill that you can actually like rebuild like you can get pallets of or not pallets I cannot think of the planks you can get wood planks and rebuild the um, grain mill and of course that's something that they're re they're talking about at FarmCon this year which I'm surprised the schedule has not been posted yet because that's something that I was wanting to cover but I'm going actually out of town for about two weeks and a few days actually like a few hours after recording this I'm hurry I'm trying to hurry up and record these videos so that I can get them out on time and that's something that I see is like interesting because uh, Kermit the community coordinator was talking about how he was they were supposed to be releasing the schedule and all that kind of stuff last week and they never did so I'm assuming that it'll probably come on Monday as soon as I'm you know not able to cover it but I actually might take some of my equipment and if I have to make a video or anything like that I can it just you know won't be the best video I've ever made but yeah so uh, back to FS25 there's many things that I'm really really excited to see but like mainly it is gonna be the whole weather ground everything to deal with that because I think that's something that's like there's please, do I have a loud or like create fields on I think I do I really feel like I do yeah I do anyways but like that's something that I want to see the 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 weather the ground um, I'm excited to see that J&M is coming to the game that's kind of a brand that's kind of not been really talked about but yeah J&M you know uh, grain buggies all that kind of stuff J&M is coming and that's something that I know many Americans will love including myself it's exciting I don't really know exactly what else JM makes. I think they make seed tenders too. So there might be some of those coming to the game. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what fact sheets, like when Fact Sheet Friday start up, like all that kind of stuff. I'm expecting them to start up sometime in August uh, around like Gamescom. I think that's usually when they do because they do like a garage trailer and then they start them or something. Vice versa, one of the two. Um, I'm about to hit the fence. I really have allowed create fields on um, oh, my which this whole thing was a field I just decided to not make it okay is what is he doing I don't need him over here I needed him over there 
You know what? <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, I'm gonna send him back over here because I don't need him over here. I don't need him in my field. I need him right here. Oh, these things are killing me. I love tractors and all that, but I hate articulating tractors sometimes, and this is one of those times. Like, they're so annoying to work with, and, you know, but I love a quad track. I love me a good quad track. But, they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> Sorry, Case. But, like, they are. I was reading through some pamphlets I got earlier from a convention, and, like, it fascinates me. It truly fascinates me, like, all the little details about, like, mainly the advanced farming system or AFS from Case IH. It's really, really cool to see just the whole, like, thing. I'm nerding out right now, if y'all can't tell, but it, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff. I'd love to see GPS come to the game, which I don't use GPS. I've never understood why people like GPS or anything like that. I think it has the potential to be really cool, like, I've seen videos of people try to use it, but I've just never, like, been a GPS person, I've never grasped it, I've never, I've never, like, liked GPS, and I don't think I probably ever will, and that is perfectly fine, but, um, we'll see what happens, I think it has, like I said, the potential to be a really, really good game, um, I know the jump from 19 to 22 was considered a decent sized jump, like not a big jump, but it was a jump. And I really think that the jump from 22 to 25 will be even bigger uh, and be like a lot more significant and noticeable. Because looking at the graphics in 25, they are, they look kind of similar to 22, but honestly like i think the graphics in 25 look way better than they do in 22. um they just look more cleaner the crops look cleaner the crops look not uniform which is something that i really like i don't like crops looking uniform and like they have it all together because they don't like these right here soybeans yeah they kind of look like that but at the same time in a soybean field in america them soybeans are everywhere they're not always in perfect rows. Um, what is he doing? Okay. But they're not always in perfect rows. They're kind of scattered and bent over, broken from the wind. That's another thing. I like to see wind damage. Whether it be trees that you have to pick up out of the field or um, crops getting blown over and there being a legit, like, plot in your cornfield where there's nothing there or just something like that i think it'd be really cool and like i said it's something that has the potential to be awesome and i think it can be and i think it will be but it just depends on when or how they do it um another thing that i'm kind of speculating about so the american map i think another focus in the game of course the main focus is rice right now uh, rice, rice, rice. That's pretty much what they're saying. And with America, the main place that you grow rice, like dry rice, is Arkansas. And, uh, like, that's the place I know that grows rice. And it might help that I'm not too far from Arkansas. But they grow dry rice. And I'm thinking that, um... The U.S. map will be based in Arkansas because, yes, they're focusing on the Central or the Asian. I think it's Central Asia, something like that. I think I know they're focusing on that kind of rice production, that kind of agriculture. But at the same time, I think that they're still going to try to gravitate towards the American audience and kind of just give that feel on the American aspect of rice because it's still there. It, it exists. We have rice in America. I know they do it in California, but that map does not look like it's from California. It looks like a um, southern-ish map, and that river that's on it very much could be the Mississippi River, and we just don't know it, but yeah. Like, I think there's a bunch of potential, 
and I think that potential will end up being used and taken advantage of, I guess you could say. And I think it'll be, like I said, a really, really great game. Um, it's kind of interesting to see dirt bikes come into the game. I didn't really expect dirt bikes. I didn't expect no kind of dirt bikes, um, four wheelers. I didn't, I don't, I mean, we still don't know if there will be like ATVs or anything like that, but that's just something that I really didn't have on my bingo card. I guess you could say I didn't expect it to just flat out be like, yep, dirt bikes are in the game. And yeah, everybody loves it and everything, but like it doesn't it doesn't make sense in a way for giant software is what I'm trying to say. They're constantly a company in the past years that has been like, Yep, it's a farming game, not a uh construction or not a go play on a dirt road game or something like that. It's a farming game. And now that they're kinda of branching out and taking a new look on it, I kinda of like it because um, they're, like I said, they're really, they're really branching out and opening up to more audiences. And I think it'll get the attention of a lot more people if they continue to do that. And I know they will. So, like I said, I'm excited to see where the future of the game is going. But, yeah. So, um, there'll probably be some kind of videos, too. Like, of course, when FS25, like, news, like, big news comes out. Of course, after FarmCon, I'll probably do some kind of recap video if I can really, really fast. Um, because I have, like, a day in between, like, a trip and another trip. And if I can hustle, I can get a video out about FarmCon, cover everything, cover the new news. Probably make a bunch of 25 recap videos and get those all ready to go for you all but yeah so I know it's about to get busy with the news and I'm gonna try my best to stay on top of it we will see if I work if that works out it probably won't but that's perfectly fine <laughs> um I'll find a way even if I'm just posting on the little community tab on my YouTube account There'll be a way that I get that I get that news out to y'all. I'm loving this plow and these textures. They are amazing. It's always calming to just sit back and um do something in the fields like it's always fun. I don't even know if y'all have had volume this whole entire time. I'm really not sure. I think y'all might have, but I've had the game muted the whole time. So, yeah, we're just going to see if that works out. There's some crows. Probably, like, delaying or something because you're hearing it through the screen or not screen. You're hearing it through the thing. The recording software and then it might be coming through this microphone but yeah pretty pretty cool what is this thing doing over there i don't think that i don't think the case knows what he's doing himself that's bad to say but i don't think he does Alright, so I'd say we have about a few more roll, rolls. Oh, I can't talk. I'd say we have about a few more rows to go with this field. Well, this, not this field, but for this section. I'm probably not going to tackle all that today. I'll probably do it off camera so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me try and try to fight an AI worker or anything like that because it happens more often than not which is kind of embarrassing to admit but it's part of it okay I need a dollar for every time that train goes by because if if I had a dollar by now I'd probably have about 20 bucks and that's a lot of money sometimes but yeah it's so soothing to just sit here and watch I need to get a thumbnail too
Um, I'll probably get it on the other side. Because I've got a few more strips after this pass right here. And then we will be wrapping up the video. And now I've got to come through here with a rock picker out of everything and pick the dang rocks because I decide, hey, let's play realistically and have fieldstone on. I kind of like this view right here. I might like it a little better with like a... with the tractor actually doing something. We're just gonna... And that's where it messes up every single time. Anyways. Alright, we got the thumbnail. Quad tracks, I guess, going over, going at it over there. I don't think it knows what it's doing, but I, I mean, that's fine. It, it can, it can live its life over there in confusion or whatever the heck it has going on. I can't believe that thing came over here and started trying to take my land. Well, it's all my land, but like, you know, it started to try to take all my, um, my, my field. It started, yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It made me a little mad. I really think I have create fields on on this thing. Oh, well. We're going to get this last pass right here. And we're probably going to... Is that like... I'm going to go look at them things here in a second. Because I found a mod that has like dynamic billboards to where like I can put whatever I want on a billboard and like it goes there. I might download it for like maybe a video one day or something. Because I think that would be really, really cool to like promote a series or something. All right, we're just going to plop that right there. Oh. That's got something back here. What's all on these? Big sale up to 50% off. Discover the wood toy collection. Sign up for new arrivals. Mary doll. Heck no. Then we got the farmer's market. They bought my stuff earlier. We got the nursery and landscaping place. And yeah. But yeah guys, so that is going to be the end of this episode. It has been about 30 minutes long. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I will see you all back on the next one. Thanks for watching.